Hey you guys, today I want to do an unboxing for you for this. This is the Fusion Works Gundam Converge version of the Zaku 1. This was actually number 48 in the series, but I think this is a revived version, so I think it's actually uh, kind of been re-released, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Uh, I picked up a few Converge kits when I was in Japan, as you guys know, a few months ago. And I kind of uh, started to like them. Of course, it still just depends on the design of the suit. Some suits I'm not really all interested in, but the Zaku is one that I do like. So recently I was up at a shop in Seoul and I picked this up. It was uh, 5,401, which is right about 500 yen. So right about like $4.50, something like that. Not too bad. Not too bad price for this. They're cool little uh, figures. I like them quite a bit. Just some boring stuff there on the side and the bottom. On the back here we can see the other ones from the series. The uh, Turn A and the Turn X were the ones that I picked up in Japan. There's also the Double X, the G Falcon, and the Kapool. Um, maybe kind of wish I would have got a Kapool actually. I, I do like the Kapool, but at that time I didn't know how much I was going to like these converged figures. So, so opening it up there on the top. And that's all we're going to have here just the base and the Zaku itself. Let me just open this up. No weapons at all this time, which is a little bit of a disappointment after like everything that the Turn X come, came with. And even the Zaku 2, the Shars version Zaku 2 that I unboxed as well, came with, oops, came with a uh, bazooka and a Heehawk. This one doesn't come with anything. Mm. Uh, so that is gonna be it. It is slightly posable in that you get some turn at the wrist some rotation of the shoulder and then I think that's pretty much it the head the head is the head gonna turn no and sadly one kind of disappointing thing about it as well is that the mono eye is very hard to see it's actually a pretty dark uh, color red so I kinda wish that was uh, brighter I mean it's represented correctly on here and that you can't really see it there but just obviously this glowing uh, Mono eye there on the front is a little bit deceiving as the uh, one on the, on the converged figure here is actually kind of dark. So, but anyway, it's still uh, very cool looking. The base here, you just kind of slide onto the back of the feet, and that's just gonna help it stand up. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty soon, I'm actually planning to do like a short little tutorial video of like how to detail up these. Basically, just using some uh, panel lining. Uh, paint to just go in and just fill in the panel lines on this and then maybe just paint a couple of de details put on a couple decals maybe just um, sort of to overall improve the look of the uh, figure but anyway out of the box this is what you're gonna get it's pretty cool mostly just in this blue and green as you can see on the back there's a little bit of silver on the back of those leg joints and uh, so yeah and a little bit of gray up underneath there and then inside the head is kind of uh, blackish gray in there and one last thing that I just wanted to add is I just realized this that the head actually does come off so that you can turn this part and move the mono eye that's good because that's gonna actually make it a lot easier to paint that mono eye a brighter color of pink so you can turn that off to the side that way when you put the head back on there you've got the mono eye sticking out of the side it's much much better I'm going to definitely drop some brighter pink in there on that eye and make it a lot more visible. So that's that's pretty cool. Glad that they did that. And so yeah, pretty cool little figure. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.